Hi Party Rockers, welcome again. I am here again to give you another gist about party, party and event. My name is Queen Oinola and you are on Queen Oinola TV with Party Paparazzi. On this channel we talk about everything and everything that has to do with party and event. So today we want to talk about Strictly by Invitation. <laughs> Strictly by invites. Okay, what do we want to say about it? I'll be back. Welcome back. Today on episode of Party Paparazzi, we want to talk about Strictly by Invite. And if you are meeting me for the very first time, you are on my video, please kindly subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Please leave a comment on this uh, on this page so that we know that we are talking to some people and to know that we are doing what is right. So thank you for subscription. We appreciate you. Okay, today we want to talk about Strictly by Invitation. Okay, somebody put in an invite that this is strictly by invites and you are angry. Why? Why? The person that says strictly by invite know exactly why he or she said that. Maybe she just wanted to be for certain set of people which you happen not to be among them. That does not give you audacity to be challenging her, to be hating on her, or doing anything that is not good for her because she says strictly by invitation and you did not get the invite. You don't need to be angry. She doesn't want you to be at the party. If she wants you to be there, she will send you an invite. So maybe when next she wants to do or he wants to do party, you will be invited. That shouldn't bring a fight or argument. Some people get angry. When they see on the invite that they said it is strictly by invitation or they specify in an invite that no ashwebi, no entry. Why are you angry? They said no ashwebi, no entry. And you cannot afford to buy ashwebi, stay in your house. It is not compulsory that you must attend that party. Why are you fighting the celebrant? You don't need to be unhappy. If she doesn't want you to be there, fine. If she wants you to be there, okay. If the celebrant says that it is strictly by Ashwebi that you can enter and you cannot afford it, please, don't need to fight, just stay in your house. She cannot. Some people will begin to bring up a fight. Somebody will just call you that, hello? They say you said those people that did not have a should not come to your party. Why will you do that? Why? Is in the celebrant's opinion. It is not your opinion. It is not. Is it your party? If that is what she wants, please respect that. If she said strictly by invite, respect it. If she, he or she said that it is by Ashwabi, respect that. Buy the Ashwabi and join the party or don't buy, stay back in your house. That doesn't bring any fight. It doesn't bring any argument or any chaos. But our people always like to take up fights with people when they say that. And you be, you find out that people that said strictly by invitation must have been a kind of people that rented a hall where they are the one to cater for the food and they charge them per table. They charge them by each person. They pay for every individual that is coming to that party. And she, uh, he or she has already counted how many people she can afford, how many people she can cater for. She doesn't want any plus one. She doesn't want any uh, additional a, a person. But they said sweetly by invitation and you are bringing three people with you. Why now? Strictly by invitation, they gave you one invite. And they even write there that no plus one. But you said your sister must follow you. Your friend must follow you. Why? Always respect people. Whatever they put in their invite, always respect it. That is what they want. And do it for them. That's 
that should be the, the, the tradition to respect people when they say that's what they want. No plus one, no plus one. Don't say that. Will she now see me and say I should go back? Who you who do you think you are? She doesn't want you, she doesn't want you, she doesn't want she doesn't want any extra person. He doesn't want any extra person. Please respect that. That is what we call party etiquette, habit. And that is all I have for you on today's episode of Party Paparazzi. Join me when next I bring another tip for you on party and event. I remain your queen, Queen Lola. Don't forget to like and click the subscribe button. Bye, love you. Bye-bye.